Hello guys, this is Adam uh, from the Adam Lab. I hope that you are doing good. The M1 MacBook Air that I have, how it has been doing so far, and I think I have owned it for around three months by now. It has been doing great, no issues at all. I have created two apps so far using it, and it was a breeze to be used. The specs that I have, 16 gigabyte of RAM, one terabyte of storage, and eight core CPU and eight cores GPU as well. Now, some of you might ask, well, how did you get eight CPU uh, GPU cores on your M1? one uh, macbook air because on apple.com it only said seven well if you upgrade the storage to 512 or if you upgrade the ram to 16 gigabyte you will be getting that extra core so there's that so it would be the same as the pro and when it comes to overall using it to do swift uh programming or simply using swift to program or ios development on it i had no issues at all and no complaints it works really easily and i didn't have any issues uh with it comparing that to my 16 inch macbook pro and people who have been watching the channel for a while they know that i used to own a 16 inch macbook pro with 64 gigabyte of ram and one terabyte of uh, storage uh, plus the two 2.3 gigahertz i9 so it was fully specked out the price was around four thousand four thousand five hundred dollars and it was a wonderful machine i would not lie but the m1 is actually doing better overall from the 16 inch and even though this 16 inch cost around four times the price of the machine no not four times one time double the price that i have right now because going from two thousand to uh, four thousand dollars this machine for less it's doing better the only thing that i am noticing is the the RAM. The RAM is not as much. Yes, the RAM is working and it definitely feels it's like more than 16 gigabyte of RAM, but with 64, I used to be able to do more stuff. For example, running Affinity Photo, running Affinity Designer, and then opening Xcode, and then after that, having multiple simulations on the Mac working at the same time. The 16 inch was able to do that because of the amount of RAM, but my, my, my MacBook Air cannot do that and I have for example to close an application and then open another and focus on one application or maybe max opening two applications at the same time but if I am ex exchanging between the two it will not work so I have to open one and then close one and the reason is because I don't have enough RAM even when the machine gives me an error and then it crashes on me it will actually tell me there is not enough RAM and when I go to the activity monitor I see even the swap memory is getting to something like 10 sometimes to 13 gigabytes and I do have like 300 gigabyte of space but I guess the swap memory is capped maybe at like 13 or 16 and it cannot go above that so basically it will mirror the same RAM that you have on your device and technically that makes sense because that how physics works so simply what would happen is that 16 gigabyte of RAM would be mirrored on a swap memory and then you'll both be having 16 gigabyte of RAM.